How you How's doing, it going? Man? I'm Nevada. Nice to meet Pleasure you, man. Pleasure to meet you. Change. You excited? Yeah, I'm high, too. Oof. I played hoops in college. You did? Yeah. I've been coming out here for some time, and I knew of somebody that I needed to meet, the man that's next to the man that's next to the man, the plug himself, Mr. Nevada. <laughs> Explain your profession to the people. I have a PhD in VIP. You heard that. <laughs> so you basically know how to treat the people. That's right. So how did you know that you had this specific gift? My father had a casino since I was three years old. He had his own casino? His own casino. Tuh. So he's the original owner and founder of the Stratosphere Tower. We were mandated to live within five minute drive of the property, so I always lived in there. But you can imagine, I'm riding my bike, go-kart, playing football, basketball. Uh, we had Dovermans. I'm running them through the strip. You're on the strip? On the street, by the strip. The bar continues to get raised in Vegas like, like never before. The explosion and development, it's a really fun place to be. We have people like you coming in, performing. Got you. And it, Nevada's your real name? It is. It's my given name. So, I mean, tell me about this PhD. So last week, we had a group of CEOs that came in, not big club people, but wanted to figure out how do we get behind the scenes, came right in, did a four-stop culinary tour, helicopter trip, cocktail reception in the room. Next day, had their meetings in the room, escape room team building, over to the Palms for the new restaurant, speaker that talks about the secrets of casino marketing, and how to whale hunt. And how, how to whale hunt? Really? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was a lot of fun for them. Next day, chef's table, Joe Rubichon, only three-star Michelin-rated restaurant in Vegas, meeting the chef in the kitchen, private room. And this is all inclusive. This is all inclusive. So one of the cool ones that we did not too long ago was we did a million-dollar bachelor party. So we had 40 people that flew in, tandem jets, had to have their Hugh Hefner moment, 100,000 at the club, 250,000 at the pool party type of deal, you know, set dinners. All they had to do was show up and have a good time. Everything else was taken care of. We had of. it already laid out. We had it laid out. That's dope. What would be your fee in all of this? We probably put about 10% on top of what the people would pay anyway. So you're like a wedding planner on steroids. <laughs> for the VIP, exactly, yes. My goal is for the guests to feel like they own the place when they are inside the place. Got you. That people know them when they come in. Chains, how you doing? Great yeah, to have you. That's good. After people see this, they're gonna be trying to call you with a whole bunch of bullshit. Yes. Trying to waste your time. Let's be honest, what's the minimum that you you move for? Entry level would be a 10K budget. We get you a baby baller package for that. Baby baller. You know, and we go all the way up from there. Sky's the limit. Well, congratulations, Thank you. man. I appreciate it. That's I right. wanted to bring in uh, my dad's old pinky ring. He had 20 carats on the pinky in the 80s. Hey, Today is my lucky day. I, you know, this is, this is for the vault. No, I thought it was a present. Rest in peace to Pops, man. He put some DNA out here.